Hello! In this video I will set up Canon Image Prograph Pro 1100 with drivers and professional software. I cover the following in the video and for the product introduction check the video in the upper right corner. In the previous video I have unboxed, unpacked, plugged in and set up the printer with inks, print hat and made the initialization procedure and aligned the print head. Find that video in the upper right corner before you install the drivers. There is setup DVD in the box, but I installed the driver from the download site. I download the master setup from official web page. I run the setup file and follow the steps. I have decided to connect via USB. The setup finds my network printer, which is Maxify GX series, designed for document printing with lowest cost per page. Find the video in the upper right corner. For Pro 1100 I install to USB, as it is the fastest connection for large amount of data which this printer will be processing during high quality photo print. I speed up not to make the video too long. The driver installation is finished and for the end I just print a test page. Before I install the software let me quickly show about the new driver updates. Clear coating from Chroma Optimizer can be selected from Auto to Non. In the driver you can set more than 3 meters long media for this model. There are also new media sizes supported for regular and borderless print. In the next video on Pro 1100 I connect to the Wi-Fi network and show how to use from the Canon print app. Next I install professional print and layout. I download from Canon website version 1.5. As I do not go into details about this software, find more about art printing and portrait printing in the video about Pro 300 in the upper right corner of the screen, where you find also information about media configuration. First, I need to add Pro 1100 to the professional print and layout. I have used this software before with smaller Image Prograph Pro 300 and predecessor Pro 1000, which are already registered. I select an image to print and I will walk through some of the possibilities. For my first print I load the platinum glossy paper. When paper is replaced you need to select the size and type. 
you can use media configuration tool to create your own media and upload to the printer. For more contrast, you can tick the contrast reproduction and use depth information, printing from borderless to bordered with different margins from color to black and white is easily selected by picking the color modes. In the color settings you can set to print pattern which helps you with the final color proofing in RGB or contrast and brightness directions. Here I play with color curves for special effects. To finally print my first photo I will select borderless. It takes a few moments for processing before the printing starts. Here is real time speed which is by specs about 7 minutes for a free photo. In the version 1.5 on professional print and layout you can find settings for clear coating so called chroma optimizer. I can select the following options but only when glossy paper is selected. If I select fine art or plain paper these settings are not available. Clear coating or chroma optimizer ink is not used on them. It's only used on glossy and semi-gloss media. And I print this image two times to have a comparison. First with auto setting which is recommended and the second print without clear coating at all. Here is the comparison on both prints and that would be all in this video. Find more about Image Prograph Pro printers in the playlist and feel free to subscribe to support my channel so I can create more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.